Virtual Desktop allows you to use your Oculus Rift DK2 to replace your computer monitor. Now, you're probably not going to want to throw your computer monitor out the window just yet because the resolution of the DK2 and probably the CV1 isn't quite there to replace a standard computer screen. However, it is absolutely incredible. When you pop your headset on, you're greeted by your Windows environment uh, floating in front of you as if you were sat in a sort of blanked out room or, or a cinema and there's an absolutely ginormous screen. Now because the DK2 is only 1080p, you can see the individual pictures known as uh, the pixels known as the screen door effect, but a lot of the time you can just look through that and if you do set the virtual screen to be reasonably large, you can then look around it and you can use your computer as you would use it with this with a normal screen. As it is right now as I say you wouldn't want to throw away your monitor and just use this but maybe if you were you're traveling and you have a reasonably fast laptop or if you're on a plane or something and you wanted to view your computer desktop with something that's far smaller and more portable than, than a monitor um, or maybe you haven't got enough leg space because they've cramped you so tightly into your economy class seat that you can't even open your laptop you could pop your DK2 on and access windows without anyone else being able to see screen so you could be looking at dodgy stuff with a person sat next to you completely unaware and, and it works good enough for basic Windows use. Now, to completely abuse virtual desktop and use it, what it, use it for what it wasn't designed for, and also to sort of go over its features and let you know what it can do, I'm going to play a bit of Counter-Strike Go with virtual desktop, which is silly, but it has to be done. Now, before I do that, you can choose the size, uh, the distance of your screen in the, in the virtual space. So this is affecting where my eyes converge, but it also affects the apparent size of the screen. So I can have it so that I'm licking the, licking the monitor, I can almost taste the pixels, or it's so far in the distance I'd need a telescope to look at it, and uh, that's my computer on a postage stamp. Generally, you'll find something that's in between that works well for you. Uh, I'm going to go for three meters at 600%. Of course, if you set the distance, uh, the closer it is, the more, the more sensitive it is to head movement because it is closer. The further away, the less sensitive the screen is to head movement. There's going to be an absolute sweet spot for each person. I I've only literally just loaded this up for the last, been playing with it for about an hour, so I'm not really determined what I like the best. Now, some other options you've got, you can choose if the screen is flat, this isn't going to really come across in the recording too well, but for me, if I have it flat, the screen actually looks as if it's inverted somewhat, curved away from me, uh, convex. But if I go to uh, curved, you end with you end up with a concave screen. Now, I've probably said that wrong. I've probably got them mixed up. But basically, the curved screen is what you would normally get from a, a really top-end luxury home cinema where you're almost enveloped by the screen. So that's really nice, and I think when the resolution increases on the CV1 and the future versions of head-mounted displays, this will be an absolutely incredible way to use a computer, watch films, or just access any kind of 2D media. Now let's launch into Counter-Strike. I'll leave this open. Counter-Strike's running in deathmatch. I've just got it going on the window. Oops, I think I might have crashed Counter-Strike. No, we're in. There we go. Just turn the volume down a bit so I can hear myself. Think. Now the thing is, obviously, if you're using a headmatic display, you don't really want to be playing these these old games, these old fangled games. You don't want to be playing games that were designed for you know for a 2D screen or a monitor. You're obviously going to get a better experience playing a game that's actually designed for a headmatic display, where you can look around and all the game mechanics are designed for it. But the point of this is, you can load up a, a older game. Or, or a recent game that's designed for a, for a 2D screen, and it is actually reasonably playable as I get shot in the back of my head. I'm just going to pick a rifle. I'll get a couple of kills, hopefully. But this is this is usable. Unfor unfortunately, because my computer isn't the fastest machine in the world, and um, rec I'm recording, my frame rate's running quite slow in the game, which is making it even harder to play. But earlier when I was playing whilst not recording, and everything was running smooth, it was actually quite playable. It, it wasn't as playable as using it on a screen, but it, it was good enough that you could use it if, if you were in a pinch and you didn't have access to a big monitor. Say you come around to someone's house for a LAN party. It's just about usable. It's on the fringe of being a usable replacement for a screen for playing CSGO. 
if you're a pro player, you, you wouldn't want to use this. Oh, it's the end of the round. But again, as once I'm in the game, you can change the screen size to whatever you want. So, I don't know, if, you, if you're one of those players that likes to play on a 15-inch um, CRT because you're, you're keeping it retro, you could do, you could make it tiny, have it in the distance, or you could pretend you're at a cinema and you're looking at CS massively, which you might even be able to use uh, to, to make it easier to aim and get headshots. So I found when you play zoomed in and you look around, it makes it really hard to aim because you expect the character to move uh, and it doesn't, obviously, because it's a, a 2D game that doesn't even know you're using virtual desktop. But let's um, let's just get this back down to a smaller scale. Oh, I've been advertised to. Let's get a couple more kills, and then uh, I'll go through using it in Windows quickly. Oh, we're starting. Match begins. It's what is nice with this, though. As I say, even though it is flawed and it isn't a practical monitor replacement yet. It does, with the nature of a VR headset, it completely isolates you from the environment you're in. So, really, if you were on a, like I say, on a train, a plane or something, or, you know, you live with noisy people, put your headphones on, put this, put the TK2 on, and you're completely and utterly isolated, which then makes the game that you're playing far more immersive, even if it's a, an old school 2D game that wasn't designed for, for VR at all. I can barely see him. You see that I he's taken up uh sort of two or three pixels. You really do have to try the Oculus Rift to sort of get a, a grasp of how it looks. You can't really compare This is the worst fight ever. <laughs> you can't really compare the visual quality of the DK2 or the Oculus Rift or a head mounted display with that of a monitor because it, it operates in a completely different way. You're you're looking at the image through um, you're looking at the image through lenses. It's a, a far larger field of view than a normal monitor. It just doesn't you can't compare it even though it is a 1080p screen on this and that gives you a, a loose idea of the quality of the image. It's 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 incomparable. So you really just have to try a DK2 or an Oculus Rift CV1. Hopefully they'll be demoing them. Nonetheless, this video is not about trying the DK2. It's about um, virtual desktop. Now I'm going to quit Counter-Strike and uh, go back to my desktop. Okay. And uh, let's load a web page up. Uh, for some reason I've saved a screenshot. But this is uh, it's far more usable in Windows and it runs a lot better when you're not tr when you're not absolutely hammering your computer with, <laughs> with a game. Uh, well, there's, there's my OBS recording. There's, there's me, which you can obviously see in the video already. So that was completely pointless <laughs> loading that up. So you can browse the internet. Let's go to Reddit. That's where it's all at these days. Again. A good way to learn how to touch type. Now, it's, for me now, that's really hard to read. It's too small to read, and so you can just quickly zoom on in, and there you go. I can see everything. What I think this might have a lot of potential for as well is people that have really bad eyesight and uh, currently use a normal screen, but they have it zoomed right in on the face, so everything is large. This might actually be a better solution. Well, you know, you can zoom right in now uh, so that everything is absolutely massive. And it's using... Because the head tracking on the DK2 is so precise, I mean, it really is ridiculously precise. If you were a person with really bad eyesight and you... I've lost my cursor now. I've got to play, find my cursor. There it is. <laughs> If you had terrible eyesight, you could zoom right in and you'd be able to see things again. So that's that's an option, I guess. But, well, I don't know what else to say, really. Virtual desktop, absolutely fantastic for virtualizing your desktop. i tell you what you should check out. If you're really interested in this virtual desktop and you want a more in-depth video rather than a guy that's just played CSGO and is talking mostly nonsense about it, go to Everyday VR on YouTube and check out his video on it because he's done a far more in-depth video than this. 
I just wanted to draw everyone's attention to it and see if it was possible to play CSGO because I'm irresponsible like that. But thanks for watching this video. This has been a, a, a quick sort of preview of Virtual Desktop. Absolutely fantastic software. Works pretty seamlessly. Installs, runs. Head track is fantastic. Everything is crisp. Already has a degree of utility to it. Absolutely amazing. Subscribe. Like the video. And uh, watch my other videos as soon as you can. Thanks for watching and goodbye.